29th of March 2024. This is one of that it's time skid marks of mine and I just want to place it on the record for the people that made comments about the thumbnail. That evil woman, I picked that picture with a specific purpose because the things that I'm talking about in this series is all connected to the evil that is surrounding us. But the guys and girls say, look at a lot of these things and they just scroll by or they share the shit or what without thinking, without listening to what is in the videos. Last night I published a talk between me and Ricardo Marman of Azania Party. And a few things came out in that discussion and I suggest you go and listen to the discussion and listen carefully. Take note of the things that are being said. The most important thing that you have to focus on is the fact that Azania was left off the national ballot and how they were left off. The IEC simply refused to give Ricardo any reasons. Now, what the fuck is that? How can they do something like that and refuse to give reasons? The only deduction that I can make is that the IEC is not independent and is controlled by triple X. If you look at the policy document of Azania, you will see there that he clearly stands for certain fundamental realities. Plus, he's got a line on that document of his saying in bold, the Oppenheimer cabal moet fall. Now, I can assure you that raised some feathers. He clearly stipulates triple X must fall. That is on his manifesto. But listen carefully. His first point in his document. Beëindig die echte staatskaping van die Oppenheimer cabal. Stay captured by the Stellenbosch guys. The triple X. And he's against what is going on at the Reserve Bank. And he wants the uh, lockdowns to be declared as a crime against humanity. He wants prosecutions for the far murders. He, he, he wants to limit the export of our minerals. He wants conscription. He wants Ramaphosa to be blocked from privatizing Eskom. He wants load shedding to be declared as sabotage. He wants the breakup of the large private monopolies. He wants mass deportation of illegal immigrants. He wants all the struggling municipalities under administration. He wants all race, uh, race classifications and discrimination abolished. He wants the death penalty back. He wants to scrap this gender confusion shit and same-sex marriages and all of that. He wants South Africa to get out of the UN. He wants a referendum for a new constitution. He wants all the diplomatic connections with Israel broken and he wants the prohibition of all vaccines and genetic modifying feed, food, food. So if you look at those things, good solid principles. But then he made a statement that makes, that made my eyes widen because I've been trying to convince the Buddha to vote and he said they want, after the IEC dropped them, they are now going to promote a vote boycott. And he explained why he wanted done and I explained to him why it won't work. And as I sit here and talk to you, 
I'm not convinced that the boycott is the right way, but I'm also not going to say he is wrong because he motivated his position well. The reality for us, the normal people, is the following. If you are a decent Christian, there is not a single fucking political party that you can vote for with a clear conscience. And as Ricardo so aptly said, it is a matter of you choosing between two devils, the one devil or the other devil, which is a fuck up. You must admit it. So what I would say, what voters should do is go fundamental. Go fundamental. Just ask one question about the party that you are looking at. Do they support gay rights and same-sex marriages and all that cuck? If the answer is yes, you cannot vote for them. doesn't matter how long their fucking manifest is or whatever. Just stay away from them. You can't vote for them. Don't make it difficult for yourself. If they support that shit, they're out. Which then mean you don't know where to vote. If you are committed towards voting, you don't know where to vote. At this point in time, the only party that I see that you can vote with a clear conscience if you are a Christian and your principles are important to you, it looks like OHM might be a prospect. I don't know what OHM's position is as far as the gender confusion shit. I don't know. So, if you know, tell me in the comments. Another guy that makes a lot of sense in what he says is Gaten McKenzie. But once again, I'm not sure what the PA's position is as far as the gender confusion is concerned. Now you may think I'm fucking stupid for just focusing on the gender confusion. Listen carefully. You cannot choose between two Satans. That is not on. If you are a Christian person with good moral principles and you believe in what the Bible says, you cannot support a party that supports this gender confusion cuck. You cannot. If you do that, <laughs> I'm laughing at you because then you are a fake Christian. That's what you are. And you may be angry now. So Ricardo has got a point. If your options is just a lot of Satans, how can you vote for that? So you want to vote for the best Satan, the best devil. That's what you want to vote for. How the fuck can you think that can have a good outcome? So our big mission is to find a party that is for good solid, principled Christian voters. That's what we're looking for. Azania offered that and they were taken off the roll. And that is what you should be fucking angry about. That is what you should be tweeting about and sending WhatsApp messages about. The fact that they were kept off the ballot. That is what you should focus on. But I can sit here and talk for hours on this topic. I'm not going to do it. All I want to say is, it was quite a pleasure to have that discussion with Ricardo and I must salute him for having the guts to sit across the board from the Buri man. And if you have a party that you think is so wonderful, get your leader or a senior guy to talk to me. You get him. Don't tell me. I don't know the people. I don't have contact with the people. You are one of their followers. Contact me on skidmarks at ppol.co.za. Give me the guy's contact details and I'll contact him. Somebody offered me a good sum of money to talk to one of the flat earth prophets. I contacted the guy everything. 
He responded back and then I asked him, okay, when can we set it up and on which part of the cube or of the part of the disc are you staying? So we can just get the time shit sorted out. And he disappeared. I wonder why. I have a funny suspicion. I have contacted three international YouTubers that has got viewpoints directly opposite of mine to enter into a discussion with me. And they, all three, asked me reference to my channel. I sent them the reference to the channel and poof, they're gone. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> they don't like the way I do. It's, you want to call it interviews. I don't call it interviews because I do not do interviews. I do chats and discussions. <laughs> Fuck this interview story. It doesn't fly in my, in my world. So, on this day, be a fundamentalist. Focus on one thing that is wrong and stick to your guns. It was wrong for the IEC to drop Azania off the voters' roll, or voters' roll. Plus, what must make you furious is that they refuse to give reasons. Azania complied with all their rules. I am of the opinion they got an instruction from their controllers. And that should make you very fucking angry. Because the IEC is supposed to be independent. Seems like they are not. And now you see there's people that they are loading onto the IEC. So Ramaphosa is loading, he's loaded the person in there. Fuck. With heavy dodgy credentials. But it's a triple X appointment. That is what I have to say. Listen to my, to my chat with Ricardo and think, and I'm saying it again, become a fundamentalist. And to be a good fundamentalist means that you find only one reason to oppose a party. The question, the, in our case, the easy question, do they support this gender confusion cuck? Yes or no? If the answer is yes, out of the door. And then he also said something else that was really important to keep in mind. Basically, all the parties that are in Parliament currently supported the lockdown. Now, all I'm going to say now it is time to vote. Are you going to vote for the same fuckers that locked you down? If you do that, Moses 6 verse 6. Stupid people must suffer. That is it. Please give me a like and a subscribe and share the thing. And thank you for the support. And I really appreciate the subscriptions. And the likes is important. The Vaselinas has got a gang onto me and I can see them in, uh, in my side of the channel statistics. There are five people that constantly vote a down thumb on all the publications I do. Now, <laughs> what I ask myself is, if I do a news flash and I tell you an airplane fell in the Himalayas, and 14 people is dead. And I then talk about who was on board and that's the end of the story and that's the total news clip. And you vote a thumb down. What the fuck is wrong with you? How can you vote a thumb down because I tell you an airplane has fallen? But that is the thing with these uh, keyboard warriors. IQ and common sense is a fucking scarce commodity in their community. Think about that. Have a great day. It's Friday and it's Bride Day. Have it. Let it go. Thank you.